What's up, YouTube? So I had to break it open. It's good. Um, smells great when you open the tin. And right now, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Just let it up. So I have my Peterson. Some Velvet Underground. All right, so this is for the Jay's contest uh, on close calls. I have a pretty good one. So, when I was 11 years old, so this would be 2000, uh, I was living in Grand Junction, Colorado. Now, for those who don't know where Grand Junction, Colorado is, Grand Junction is on the west, like way outskirts in the desert of Colorado. It's like the only real major uh, air plate, like town, I guess. Um, way out there just because there's nothing out there, you know, besides like illegal Indian fireworks stands. But, um, went to this uh, summer camp out there. I used to be a cowboy now. I don't know if anybody knew that, but I used to be a cowboy. Riding steers and riding horses and stuff. But, um, this particular day at summer camp, because I was part of like the horse riding uh, thing and doing tricks and shit. And um, I always really liked horses that um, like spooked easily and kind of need some extra control. So I was riding this uh, all white horse, I forget what his name was. And this horse spooked like so easily. Um, if you're drinking like uh, a water bottle and it cracks or um, any sudden movement freak the horse out. I guess I like that because I'm a bit of a daredevil. <laughs> uh, I don't know anybody even know that. Um, but yeah, I've just always kind of hung around the crazies, I guess. Uh, girls, guys, crazy people. And horses too. So, <clears throat> on this particular day, I don't know what was going through my mind, but I was on top of the horse and it was hot, so I wanted some water. So one of my friends threw me a water bottle, a plastic one, and I squirted it into my mouth and the bottle just crunched and that horse took off like that. It was nuts. In this little uh, arena, I guess. Horse just starts going as fast as possible. Now I'm on top with the reins and I'm holding onto the horn and I'm just like freaking out and then there's nothing stopping the horse. Horse wants me off like now. So it's all surrounded by a chain link fence and wood. So the horse is trying to get me off as with anything they can. So it's galloping around rams my left leg into the uh, the fenced area so my legs getting all cut up and stuff and I'm just sitting there like holding on and people are like what are you gonna like let go blah blah whatever just screaming at me and so <laughs> finally I'm just holding on to the horn at this point I've already tried to stop the horse that I was like you know what I better just let go and hope for the best so what happened was and this was like I don't know, I just I closed my eyes that's all I did what I did was the horse it was going real fast. I let go of the horn and I closed my eyes and the horse like kind of bucked up and I did a backflip in the air and landed on my knees and the horse galloped off. And everybody like ran over to me. I'm just I remember just like opening my eyes and I'm sitting there on my knees in the in the um, like dirt and they're all like, "Are you okay?" I was like, yeah, I, I guess so. Like, all of the scratches my leg and that was it. But, like, think about Christopher Reeve. Think about all these other people. Fall off a horse. I could have broken my neck. I could have done all these. Who knows? I could have broken bones. But instead, I did a backflip off a horse, landed on my knees in the dirt. And I was like, wow. I remember that, like, clear as day. Um, so we all had a good laugh after that. I guess that's what you'd call a close call. But, um... Yeah, so that's my close call. That was just one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me, I guess. Where my life was like in imminent danger. And I left it up to chance to see what would happen. So that was pretty scary. I hope you liked my story. Um, I hope I win that pipe rack and everything else that comes with it. No offense to anybody else who's, you know, 
that's the point of contest, I guess, is to, to beat you. All right, guys. Well, Frog Morton, I like it. Um, I will continue to smoke it and maybe do a review later on, and then I'm going to open up the other two. I thought I'd do the original one first um, and then open up the other two. So, All right, well, keep on smoking. Don't let the man keep you down. And don't ever ride horses that spook easy. I'm out.